there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be taking this painted coffee table and stripping it down and hopefully getting a really nice natural wood finish on it. If you've ever been intimidated by painted furniture, maybe you've been on Facebook Marketplace or thrifting and you've seen an item of furniture that's been painted and you really like the shape and you would love it if it was actually just natural wood but aren't sure what to do and how to achieve that look, then this video is definitely for you. I happened upon this Ming style coffee table when I was passing a yard sale and for $15, I could not pass it up. I love the feminine shape of this piece, but it has definitely seen much better days. The paint is chipped and the blue kind of gives it a shabby chic look that I'm not really going for much these days. And I have no idea what this is gonna look like once I remove the paint, but I'm gonna take you guys on the journey with me and hopefully get a really nice, beautiful result. I'm gonna start out by using this citrus strip stripping gel. I really like this stuff because it's inexpensive. It's safe to use inside. I don't have to worry about any harsh fumes. A little goes a long way and it doesn't dry out very quickly. And I'm using an old paintbrush to spread it out and just evenly coat this entire coffee table with this stuff. I'm going to let it sit for a while and you're going to see that it just really just peels and dissolves the paint right away. You're gonna wanna make sure that you use some sort of floor covering or drop cloth underneath the scissor stripper because once you start peeling this paint away, it is going to get really messy. So now my coffee table is completely covered in the citrus strip and I've left it to sit for quite a few hours and it's time to start scraping it. You can see it's looking sort of red underneath this blue paint and at first I thought that was the wood but it turns out it's actually two coats of paint. One coat of blue on top, and then apparently this table was painted red or orange at some point as well. Which now that I've done some research and understand, that is actually very common for Ming style furniture for it to be painted red or orange. Now that I've removed as much paint as I can with my scraper, I'm gonna use some mineral spirits to try to get the rest of the paint off and also to get the rest of the citrus stripper off. I'm using an old kitchen scrubber on most of the flat surfaces, but I'm also going to use a steel brush to get into some of the cracks and crevices. Had not yet applied my scissor stripper to the bottom of the table so I've got the table turned over here and I am just applying it to all of the places that I missed and then I'm repeating all of the same previous steps that I just did and as you can see it is such a mess at this point in the project I was starting to wonder if this was really even worth it but as soon as I got the rest of that paint off and it started to dry, you can see it was a really, really pretty wooden color and I was feeling a little bit more inspired to continue on. After some cleanup and some further inspection of the center piece of this table, I went ahead and decided to turn it over and have a look at it, see how it was attached because I observed some mold on the underside and also the top just didn't look like it was going to sand very well. And it appeared to be nailed in with some pocket holes, so I just took a hammer to it to see if I could just knock it out. This was the ideal situation because it just had some nails that were stuck on the inside that I was able to easily remove. I didn't have to worry about trying to get any screws out or anything like that. It just came out so easily. 
I went ahead and measured the previous piece and I'm cutting a new piece of wood to go inside of the coffee table. I'm using a really thick three quarter inch piece of plywood. And while it's not my first choice of material, I do have two children and I also wanted to be able to use materials that I already have instead of investing a lot of money into this project. Now I've got some sanding to do. So I'm just taking my palm sander and I'll probably use my orbital sander as well just to get any flat surfaces as I, much as I can. And then I definitely have to go back and hand sand a lot of these crevices and harder to reach areas. This was probably the most time consuming part and probably the part I liked the least, but I will say that watching the table sort of transform before my eyes was extremely satisfying. Once I completely removed the paint and before I started using my finer grades of sandpaper, I wanted to go ahead and attach that wooden inlay I cut. And the easiest way to do this was to use pocket holes, just like the previous piece had used. And in order to do that, you need to have a Craig jig. This is a great investment to have for any sort of just handy stuff around the house. If you want to build furniture, if you want to repair furniture, um, having a Craig jig is really nice. And as you can see, it made these holes that would make it really easy for me to screw it on into the inside of the table. It was a tight fit and I actually had to use a hammer just to knock it in place, but it fit perfectly. Now I'm just screwing it in so that it stays in securely. Now that the table is all put back together and I'm happy with it, all of the paint is removed, I can go into my finer grades of sandpaper and start finishing the table. I'm also staining the inlay a little darker because it's plywood, it doesn't accept stain quite as well or as the same as regular wood would accept it, but I didn't want it to be too light against the rest of the table. So I'm using Min Wax's Early American uh, Interior Wood Stain for this. Once the stain is dry, I can add a top coat to this. I wanted to use Daddy Van's Unscented Beeswax Furniture Polish. I've been very curious about this stuff and I thought this would be an appropriate project to use it on because I didn't want to add any sheen to this. I just wanted to bring out the natural colors of the wood throughout this piece and this stuff certainly did that. It turns out this wood is a lot more red than I expected it to be and it is beautiful. Um, I recommend this Daddy Vans if you have a dull piece of furniture sitting around that needs to be polished. This stuff is really, really nice. The reviews are amazing. I'll have it linked below. This probably isn't our forever table in our living room, but it really serves its purpose for now. It's the perfect size for what I was looking for, and it turns out I actually really kind of love the two-tone look that the top has. Thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate you guys being here. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.